Hi there! In this stupid video, we are going to look at stuff that I bought on Impulse from Timu.com. Damn it! I always told myself I'm not going to start again buying stuff that I don't really need, uh, but I did it anyway. And uh, let's see if there are any good. First thing, let's cut this open. Maybe it's uh, one of the things that I actually needed that sparked this uh, spending spree. Yeah, and it is. So. I bought one of these from my country, it was the black version, I really liked it, but I couldn't find other colors. And I have two more hard drives that I wanted to put in external uh, USB 3 enclosures, could not find other colors. Well, I found them on Timu at uh, half the price delivered. So uh, yeah, I bought one of them. And I think now I can uh, be quite sure I'm getting the second one in here because uh, it's uh, same sort of uh, packaging and most likely, hopefully, we have the da -da -da -da, red one. Ha! So now I know the sizes of the hard drive just by looking at this uh, and I don't need to put labels and stuff onto them. These things are basically about $4. They are not perfect, but they work. This will be in a separate video where I, uh, where I take a much better look uh, at them, mostly at the black one, because these things are identical to that. So, get them out of the way. Let's see what the hell else did I buy. Heat shrink sleeves. A bunch of them. Well, nice part. They are pre-cut. They are a lot of... Uh, sizes in here, so this will actually come in handy. Uh, I, did I really need them? Most likely no, I do have a lot of heat shrink, but I am going through a lot of this stuff, so yeah, I guess they don't expire, do they? So, <laughs> okay, let's throw them on the ground. What else? Yeah, why not? Type-C connector with two pins. So obviously this is not data, this is just power and uh, yeah, most uh, things nowadays use uh, Type-C cables, so if I want to put anywhere a little port like this, it's extremely easy with something uh, of this type. So yeah, one of them. Most likely I bought more. Oh, look at this. So you know, on this channel I work a lot of uh, time on my car, my wife's car, my uh, parents' car, my friend's car. And these things do kind of break. So we have, we have, have, we have an assortment of different clips from uh, different car models. And uh, yeah, not for children, <laughs> obviously. They will uh, be used. Hopefully not a lot, because I don't like to break original clips. These for sure are worse quality than original ones. But in case I need it, I don't pay, I don't know. Uh, two dollars for a single one. I think I paid four dollars for this whole thing or five, but I didn't need it. So, <laughs> Temu gets you just by throwing uh, discounts at you. It tells you, hey, if you buy just a little bit more, I'm going to throw you a little bit of more discount. And uh, yeah, it touches you a little bit. This, in theory, is a tool that should be able to huh. but ask me in the comments for any of these tools this is not a review i'm basically just taking a quick look at the uh, stupid stuff i bought ask me in the comments if i use them and they are actually any good in, uh, let me show you do i have a big screw somewhere i think okay so i have something like this this should chamfer it obviously not by hand, you put it in a drill, you hold this with something and zzzup, chamfers the edge. Might actually work. There is a possibility it actually does work. Anyway, we'll see in time. Time will tell. 
I honestly uh, bought these things uh, less than two weeks ago and they arrived. So Timu has really stepped up and all China, uh, China based uh, stores stepped up their game and they deliver much faster. Okay, what do you think this is? No, not that, it's not for ladies. This is a pill container. And for me, I take, pill, uh, take pills daily. If I go uh, somewhere, normally I would put some in my pocket or something like that. Well, here I can have this, I think I over tightened it, on my keys or somewhere on my jeans that it just stays in the pocket. Yes, it will look weird. Hopefully I bought one in black also, this red one. <laughs> anyway, but I have this with me. So is it good that they stay directly in this metal? Maybe not. <laughs> I will see if I can do anything about that to have something, uh, add some other material on the inside. But anyway, yeah, I guess. What else, what else, what else? I have no freaking clue what I got in here. What did I get in here? I don't care how I cut all of this. It's... Oh, pliers. I never had anything like this, so it's really, really tiny tipped pliers to cut really close to something, a little bar or something. I'm not going to be cutting uh, really strong stuff with it, mostly on plastics and stuff like that, because I don't want to damage uh, its, little, uh, its little edge. I have at least one of them I'm going to show you. I have also bigger ones that I already pre-damaged, and this is much sturdier. I think this is from a dentist, honestly. Yikes. Anyway, but this is for heavier stuff. Uh, this will be for plastics and smaller stuff. Anyway, but overall, first impression, yeah, feels good in the hand. Hopefully it also works. Let's put its uh, cover on it. Ah, stupid things. Beer saver. Basically, when you open your beer and something happens that you cannot finish it uh, at that particular moment, you throw one of these <laughs> things on it and uh, finish it just a bit later, because uh, you open the beer, you, you need to drink it. <laughs> Let's put that aside. Ah, what did I order? Okay, so these uh, seal clips. Are they seal clips? I think they are seal clips. Anyway. Here they are, various sizes. These things have a tendency to fly when you open them. The smaller ones are actually in some uh, little uh, plastic uh, um, uh, pouches, not pouches, bags, whatever. So that makes sense. Probably they were flying aw away during shipping. Okay, these are the sizes. Again, did I need this? No, not really. Maybe someday, but better to have more than not enough. Uh, don't think that's how it works. What did I get here? Ah, I, I know this. Okay. This is for traveling, for planes. I bought uh, one of these from my country. Uh, another color, I think blue. And it's damn good. Let me open this. Initially I had the impression it's a stupid thing, so I bought one. Uh, probably it will break in a few days. Well, I ended up not only wearing it when we travel by plane, but wearing it uh, way more. But this seems like a cheaper version of that one. Ask me in the comments how this fares. It feels a bit cheaper plastic. The, the other one seems like a really dense plastic. This one seems just like random plastic. And I don't like this. So the other one is a bit better well made. This is uh, not as stiff. So the design is the same, but uh, it's a cheaper quality product. Anyway, mine uh, held up really well. So I decided to get more, but they were not available in my country in the colors that I wanted, like, like black. So I got one from here, I think $2. But uh, if you want it only once or twice traveling by plane, you don't want to take your belt off. This is full plastic if they believe you. In case not, you are still taking it off. So <laughs> there's that. But the quality, hmm, not what I hope. What else? What do we have here? Yeah, 
other circlips, the type that have, uh, you need uh, something to open them up, uh, some pliers. I think I have those pliers, uh, something like this, presumably, and I think I have one at 90 degrees, but I'm sure as hell not going to find it now. So, yeah, again, but they are quite big. I mostly work on smaller stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> It is what it is. How much more stuff did I buy? Okay, I remember this. Now this hopefully uh, it will actually help me a lot. I have um, the need to sometimes drill tiny holes, open up a hole in a PCB or who knows what. Uh, normally I would try to keep uh, the, the drill bit by hand. Uh, yikes, not always working. I have Something that I bought, something like this, but this is not meant to be used by hand, it's for something else, it's an adapter that I use it for really small bits that my uh, big uh, machine cannot hold, but this is meant to be used by hand. So open up, put the little bit in, tighten it, and then put it where you need to, and so yeah, and also got a set of uh, drills right here, one of them is flying away. Okay, I guess it's uh, it's good, really small drills as you can see. Puny, that one, 08, Jesus, but this thing can hold it, it basically closes fully shut, so it can hold anything. Yeah, a few dollars. There. Did I need it? Yeah, this one, actually, yeah, and my battery is going on the phone, I need to charge it, be back in a second. No idea. Okay, this is actually somewhat fun. Because uh, it's like Christmas, I'm opening stuff. Oh, oh, oh no, it's actually good. I bought this for my Audi A4 B8. Uh, this thing broke on it and um, uh, this thing I can, I think I can put in there. Worst case, I somehow uh, push these pins out and put this on mine. I will see how I can do that. Just not to uh, drop the cap uh, onto the pavement. Although I never did, so... But I saw it. I needed to have it. That's, that's the problem. They have so much stuff that when you look at it, you always find something that you might need, like this thing. Huh, I always searched for a, a sturdy one, uh, but not too big. Wait, test, pest. Okay, I like the action on it, and it's not too big. I don't like the huge ones, Jesus, and no. Huh. And it also has uh, this thing. Oh, okay, it works. Nice. Yeah, I guess I can cut my fingernails now. But Jesus, it works really hard, but it does seem to work. So, yeah, I guess probably it's good. We'll see. Ask me in the comments again. I don't think I bought two red ones. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, anyway, that's that. These are just uh, to join wires. So you are not only soldering them, you are actually joining them with this and you can tighten them uh, with uh, pliers uh, in place. Uh, with a cream tool in place if you have one and then you can also solder on top of it but it will make a much sturdier connection okay this yeah it's good aha uh -huh. this one it's an uh, automatic punch tool do i have something to punch with it i don't see anything punchable at the moment I did not have something like this, we need to cut it. I just had ones that you would... Uh, ah, like this, put it in there, smack it with a hammer, it will make a mark. But this one, in theory, it's uh, spring loaded. Oh, I think the spring will come out if we do that, so we will not be doing that. Kind of big. But yeah, it is pointy enough to 
let me get something to try and make a mark on it. And we have a piece of metal. Let's say we want to mark in here. Uh, what? Wasn't this supposed to do something? Press it and then by itself somehow snap. Okay, so this... <laughs> what the hell? I cannot push more than this. So this might not be working or maybe I misunderstood what it needs to be doing. So uh, it might be a dud or might be user error. I will write on video. Let's continue. These things... <laughs> I really like these guys. Hopefully they are as useful as I'm thinking. Uh, probably they are meant to basically be able to pierce into little cables. Uh, I think they are for your car. Um, you either pierce cables or actually in a connector. If I would have a connector, I have a connector like this. When it's actually plugged into something, you can go right next to the wire and make a connection and measure. So yeah, these guys are quite neat, but how do they freaking work? Does this fit in here? Yeah, more or less. Not really sure what the size of that is and what's supposed to be going in there. Uh, let me see. Do I have a banana plug? Ah, okay, so they are for banana plugs. That makes sense. I have those. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. Probably not the best of qualities, as you can see, 30 volts. But if I need something like this, sure as hell, it's not going to be uh, for mains. So at the end of the day, Jesus, I cannot see anything, can I? These are good. I like them. <sighs> Next. Yeah, USB Type-C in black this time, because white paint one when you can get directly the black one, and I think it's under a dollar. So in theory, not completely useless, but who knows when I need it. This self-explanatory, they are blades for your Dremel, but they are not split at all, so I have no clue if they will be able to cut anything properly, but... I, I don't need to say more do I. What do we have here? How many things did I actually buy this time? Oh, this is for the car. Uh, many times I had problems with stuff like this rusting away. So basically now I can just replace it. If you have a hole somewhere uh, and a screw needs to be tightened into it, uh, the type of screw not sure what the term is, but it's more like this, not uh, a metric screw. Uh, you can put something like this in its place and uh, we are good to go once again. So yeah, that's, that's good. And again, the whole pack of them is about the same price I could buy one or two in my country when I need them. The only problem is I have a lot of stupid stuff that I, now I need to find a way to store somewhere. So. Yeah, rubber grommets. Uh, these things when uh, you want to pass cables through a hole without having the cables being cut by the metal. Various sizes. Again, probably one dollar or two dollars max. Did I buy even more stuff? Oh, this thing, this thing I will actually test. I did not uh, really have a proper uh, high-speed USB Type-C cable. So this thing swears it's 40 gigs. We'll see about that. But I'm sure as hell going to... to is it actually somewhat bent by from the fact that you can see the light shining is not shining that nicely on it, is it? So it kind of 
maybe just because it's gold and I have really good light in here it seems it's not properly nicely bent anyway hopefully this is high speed uh, I will put it to the test if it's crap ask me in the comments and I will get back to you obviously I think they swear in here that it's uh, high speed and power 100 watts so this is not meant as much for power uh, but for USB 4 but for speed I have ones that can take 240 watts I don't have any devices that can do that but I have cables cables for that but I did not have for high speed data now I hopefully have what the hell are these I think they are for wood basically you can uh, enlarge holes into wood if uh, need be yep that's what they are which is kind of nice I did not have anything like this yes they are not precise but uh, sometimes when woodworking uh, precise is not that important you just need to to get it done and up until now I would simply try with a, a drill bit push on the side with a file with something now carve with this I hope we'll see how much stuff did I actually buy how much did I pay $50 for everything I remembered oh and the small tiny little bits did they actually seal this for me because I bought a weird assortment no 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 it was like this it was like this no I they did not sell uh, sort uh, seal it for me probably two three four something like that and a lot of them because I do break these things from time to time probably they are not great but they are a lot so I'm not going to be able to break all of them too, too soon do we have more stuff yeah this kind of stuff elastic pins um, they do break on cars from time to time they do rust they uh, I lose them it happens well now I have a few replacements although they are weird sizes but what can I say more did you finish it I think we did nothing more so uh, that was about it for this video lots of stuff all on the floor I will gather them and uh, yeah don't buy from Temu just because you have the tendency to buy way more than you should and uh, the chance of uh, getting a good product or a complete dud uh, are about 50 50 at least maybe even worse and uh, yeah sometimes it's worth it uh, sometimes you throw away money so yeah I hope I uh, I satisfied my uh, purchase uh, demons for for a good while and I'm not going to be doing this anytime soon and a little bit of bonus footage in case you made it uh, this far let's read the e-marker if it actually has any okay <laughs> 20 gig where's the 40 gig anyway yeah I guess it's better than nothing is it I will actually start and using uh, I'll start and use this thing and uh, we'll see we'll see if it's actually any good or not I can tell you for a fact it's pretty damn thick and the power rating seems to be 100 watts as it said on the paper in the box in the packaging whatever yeah okay I couldn't end the video without showing you the proper thing so this is one of them um, let's open it up Did I need to properly cut this Nah, the, you can see how it's it's just better made. This is all wobbly, much less wobbly, and the plastic again feels a bit denser than this one, and obviously just everything a tad bit nicer. 
this in itself the cut at the end so it's 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 quite amazing honestly how Chinese are able to take a, a product that's already cheap Chinese made and make a shittier ver version of it honestly it's it's that simple they they literally don't know when when to stop the gap is bigger in this one so this will probably b break faster than this one i can tell you that for a fact this one is just not wiggling it's yeah anyway so there's that with these things i'm going to try and wear it because i paid for it how much it lasts it is what it is uh, but these things I saw something this is why I'm continuing this video I saw something that I didn't like I was expecting this to be identical they are not <sighs> yeah come on man open it up already this thing it is not the greatest product but Look at it. So, even here, you can see problems in the mold. This is eh, not the greatest, not the worst. Uh, at the edge of it, it's clear the black one was designed. This was copied. Uh, let me take a quick look inside of it. I don't exactly remember the PCB in the black one, but uh, yeah. Probably for my... What the hell, did it just fall off? Yeah, it fall off, fell off. What the actual hell? I think this has a screw in it or something. It's it's not like this for sure. It's held in place. It's not just flopping around in the breeze. If I remember correctly. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Let me open this up for you, Jesus. I wasn't planning on doing this uh, in this particular video, but I just, uh, I don't know. I saw something and I, I couldn't help myself. So again, this is a cheap Chinese product. Don't get me wrong. But this is a copy of a cheap Chinese product. So it's huh, cheap to the power of two. I don't know how to, to, to say that. So don't put anything that uh, it's worth anything to you in this. You can see. Yikes. Sorry about that. It wasn't meant to happen. It does sort of more or less have the same components in different places. If you look at it, so that chip with eight pins is there. The big chip in here is this one right here. Um, yeah, it does sort sort of have them, but it's clearly a cheaper copy of this one. But yeah, also this one isn't held in, so I was mistaken about that. Anyway, clone of a crap product made a little bit even crappier. <laughs> so, uh, Chinese never cease to amaze me. <laughs> anyway, probably they will work. I'm guessing they will work. In the video for this, I will do speed test and whatnot. This video is already too long, so sorry about that. Just couldn't hurt myself. I just keep on seeing stuff. The cable is much shittier itself also. <sighs> so if there's a cheap Chinese product somewhere, be sure that there's an even cheaper uh, knock knockoff of that cheap product. <sighs> Yikes. And uh, sites like Timu and all, all sorts of them uh, are just a shit pool for this kind of products. Be warned. I have the feeling the drill bits are also crap. Uh, look at an older bit that I have. This was also cheap, but do you see it has right here, camera focus, an edge right there. This has no such edge. Let me try and show you on a bigger one. It's maybe easier to spot this edge right here. I think this is basically meds, med, made so the bit does not rub uh, and create friction with all its surface inside of that hole. It only uh, 
seals in here to uh, carry debris out. Timu drill bits uh, don't care about that. I looked at many other bits that I have, all of them uh, are like this. Uh, Timus, nope, none of them. They are all just simple straight bits. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm still going to use them, but probably they will be quite bad and break quite quickly. The way that they are sharpened is also quite uh, bad compared to others. The middle part of them is really rounded and pointy somehow. Not, not like normal bits. Maybe on this you can see a bit better. More or less. This one is uh, chipped really badly. It's an old bit. But uh, yeah, so as everything else from Timu, looks interesting at first, but if you take a deeper look, it's crap. And as I was suspecting, this is not cutting almost at all. I really need to push on it and still not cutting. So yeah, great job Timu. Same job with a proper drill bit, although it's a really old and worn out one. Still better than Timu. Just look at this marvelous quality. This one is completely effed. It's half of drill bit. It's no, they these things are crap. They are just uh, meant to get your money, and that's about it. And this little set is exactly the same. Look at this, and this is the big one. It's a freaking joke. This will not cut anything. It's... Ah, this actually starts to make me angry. Be careful for loud noise. You press it really hard up till, up till the end until it clicks. This one is even bigger. So, yeah, this works. But you really need to press it. Let me see if I... Why is this opening right there always? The problem is I don't know if this has a limit or if I keep on doing it, it will just pop out the spring. Uh, yeah. I think we found the answer to that one. Let me see. Will it now be smaller? Yes. Yes, the marks are smaller. Tighten it to the fullest, but you really need to push on this thing. But it makes sense because you are creating all of that force, uh, force by compressing the spring, which will release all the force at once. Oh, what? So, uh, sometimes it works properly, sometimes not. What do we open from this end? Okay. This is what's inside of it. I'm going to oil it to the head and back and see if it gets better. If not, it's just a crap tool. Mm, yeah, no, it's making them the same. So that one was some weirdness. It, this is fully oiled now. At least it will not rust, but in a, Softer materials, it does make a decent mark, so yeah, on steel, maybe enough for the drill to put its uh, tip in there, but nah, I, I was hoping for something like this. But, and I think it did begin to get a tiny bit uh, rounded in here. Hope you enjoyed this video, finding out what stupid stuff I, I bought without uh, really good reason, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.